Hey guys, so I know it's been a while, but uh, I just want to show you guys around this new uh, overlanding van that I picked up. Uh, so this thing is pretty feature rich. Uh, I'm really going to start kind of decking it out, using it for uh, some awesome overlanding adventures here in, Ala in Alaska. So uh, follow along with me as I go around and show you just all the, all the really cool, really cool things that this van has, has to offer. So uh, first and foremost, this is the electronic four wheel drive, right? So I got these, uh, got some brand new all-terrain tires. Uh, 60 bucks a piece off Amazon, so you know their their quality. You know they won't blow out or nothing. They got phenomenal tread, so she's ready to go anywhere. Of course, Alaska gets pretty cold, so uh, it is winterized here. Nope. Uh, yeah, so it is winterized. Uh, block heater, transmission heater, oil pan heater, trickle charger, all those things. Um, you know, yeah, she's a. Uh, She's got all the starting power. You got that, the marine style. She's amphibious, as they like to say. So she's got the marine battery uh, and, and everything actually is looking pretty good in here. You know, don't see any big oil leaks or nothing. So, uh, you know, she's ready to, to work hard. As we go around this side here, uh, you'll notice uh, the driver's, or I'm sorry, the passenger side uh, window. Um, it's got some good ventilation here, you know, so when it gets when it does get hot, uh, you know, you can uh, Get some good some good breeze flowing flowing in uh, And we got these high-class window holders uh, keeping keeping the glass in uh, and my wife says I'm a gentleman every time uh, we get to the spot and I let her out um, Maybe it's because there's no handle to get out from the inside, but um, never mind that Got all sorts of good gear, you know, for when that amphibious battery uh, kind of throws a little fit. Uh, you know, some some good old Cosby sauce, and of course, once again, I got to rock that marine, keep this thing amphibious. Uh, that good, good synthetic oil. So, let's take a look in the back here. Uh, this is the part of the van, you know, that I like to call the the living room. Uh, and oh, let me turn on the. Uh, yeah, I'll turn on my wireless light here. There we go, now you can see. Uh, so yeah, got a nice bench seat here, you know, uh, a good living room space, uh, like a nice, nice comfortable couch. I can lay down, you know, at a weird angle, you know, if I want to, but um, a good place to, you know, just sit back, uh, kick it with a bro and, and have a brew, um, or the dog, dog doesn't mind it either in here. Uh, and in the back is my bedroom. Come here, hop out. In the back is my bedroom. Uh, but you know, I am I am a taller fella, running like six foot four. So uh, sometimes I have to extend it. Booyah! Just like that, we're really ready. You know, to rock and roll. And one of the premier features of this of this van here. Come here, dog. Load up. Yeah, there we go. All cozy in here. Plenty of plenty of space to stretch out, cuddle with the the adventure pal and as we look around, you know, we got nothing but, you know, storage and storage, you know, storage, more storage. We got air conditioning. Man, you just you just can't beat this. Just cannot beat this. Really looking forward to sleeping in here, you know, those 50 below uh, Alaska nights. So, oh uh, yeah, let's take a look around the back. I'll show you my workshop. Um, you know, back here, I have, you know, my workshop where I do all my work, all my vehicle repairs and everything. Uh, right here, got everything we need. Um, oh, let's grab our wireless light here. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, my, my workspace area back here, uh, you know, like I said, everything that I need. Uh, with the four-wheel drive, you know, I'm always going to be yanking people out of the ditch. Uh, you know, this thing never gets stuck, but I do have a nice, nice uh, receiver hitch, big old meaty hook. Uh, any of those tough, tough Tacoma guys get stuck, you know, I can 
roll right up and, and yank them out. Uh, over here is my closet. It's where I keep all my clothes. Uh, you know, a hoodie and uh, some cubbies, you know. Hashtag minimalist. That's all you need, right? Overlanding life on the road, ultralight, you know, I like to call it. So yeah, there's a better look at, at the living room, uh, you know, transformed here. So uh, yeah, everything you need. I'll do all my cooking over a fire because I'm a real man. I don't need no propane stove or nothing. Once again, this is the Aerostar XLT and whatever that is. I don't read stupid, so I don't know. I think she'll work pretty well. Believe it or not, all the lights do work around it. Once again, four wheel drive. And uh, the kicker, just, just gotta check this out. She is push button start. Oh, what's that over here? Hmm. Yeah, never mind. She's a push button start, fellas. If you check this out, right? That, that don't do you no good. Down here is where the magic happens. Right? Let her warm up. Ready, set. Oh! Oh, baby. She's got heat. AC, look at all this. Even comes with a, a brush and a scraper. Man. Oh yes, headlights work and everything. Let's take a look at this. Just listen to this hum. Oh man. No real knocking or nothing, no belt squealing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, well, we're gonna go take this thing for a rip. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the walk around here. Oh, let's just turn that off there for a second. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the the walk around of my new uh, amphibious four-wheel drive rural Alaska uh, overlanding rig. Uh, I'm really gonna put this thing to work here coming up soon.